love that every time. Hey everyone, Count like 2009 here, and I'm actually doing quite fine today. Um, welcome to Spotlight 14. Last time through we got, um... Alright, I got the ball. Oh uh, yeah, last time through we did a couple more side quests, and in this Spotlight, yes, we are going to go to the next area. Um, it's really nice to record, yeah, I know. I got a sword, I can go through. Yeah, it's really nice that I can actually record. It's been so frustrating not being able to. Um, it's just, it's so hard at school as well. It's like, I brought 64, but I didn't bring my recording equipment, but hopefully if I get that Hog HD PBR, I'd be able to at school easily, no problems, and I wouldn't have to deal with anything. Any interruptions, and that would just make things easier. But anyway... Um, just ignore him. Okay. Yep. Um, what you want to do is go up here. This is the next area. As Tail said in that beginning of the last spotlight that this is where we want to go. Um, let me see. What, what you want to do is, well, first of all, hit. She says she's still like, up here, take a look at this. I bet if you had a weapon that's strong enough, one shot. One shot from it could pierce right through this. Well, it might take two shots. What you want to do is bring out your bow, and you're just simply going to hit this ice twice. Alright, that's three times for me. And you'll hear that famous Zelda sound, and we will get to go to this next area. Um, probably the most important thing about this area is... Oh, you're going to get these guys, what are these guys called again? Tektites, oh yeah. Yeah, they're just annoying little... Ugh. Um... Here, there's another one. And why is it I'm getting hit by these guys? So jeez. Okay. Somebody loves Link, giving him a heart. Um, do I have bombs? Yeah, I do. Oh wait, no, I will just use the blast mask. Um what you want need to do is either have bombs or the blast masks. This Tal will say you need them to blow that up. And yeah, getting back to it. Getting back to just not being able to do anything, it's been really frustrating everybody. It's just been so annoying not being able to record. Because I've really wanted to. Let's see if I can. Okay. Oh. Alright, that works. Yeah, it's just been so frustrating. But I guess enough about that for now. What does the sign have to say? Mountain Village Hut. Beware of blizzards and deep snow. Goron should be able to break the snow boulders easily. And yes, we are going to be dealing with Gorons. And here we go. This is personally my favorite um, area of any Zelda game. I just love the snow. I just love the scenery. Though, how is this a village if there's only one house? I don't know. Anyway, go over here and talk to... Or when you go over here, I'll be like, Whoa! Up here, up here. I am sorry to bother you from such a high place. But I am very hungry and I have gotten stuck here. Um... Yeah, that Goron, we're going to help him later. Um, here's an owl statue. Yeah, you want to hit this. Really simple. And yeah, this is actually the first time I forgot I get to record without a time limit on YouTube. It's really nice. Like, I'm really nice. Like, I'm glad YouTube got rid of it. Like, probably after this I'll explain it. But for now, we're going to go in here. And we, this is the mountain smith. And we talk. we be like, oh, shut up! when I was having a good dream. Huh? Oh, welcome to the mountain, Cynthia, where we take our time to make a good point. I am Zaboro, the owner. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Shut up over there! That huge fellow is my assistant, Gabar. He's all brawn and about as smart as a Dago stick. Say, did you come to have your sword sharpened? And sharpened? Unfortunately, we're not doing any business right now. It's because this abnormal cold snap we've been having. See, our hearth has been frozen over. The way things are going now, I won't be able to do any business until spring. I could just do something about that frozen heart. <laughs> and what's that? You say if we had hot water, we can melt the ice off the heart? Don't act like you know what you're talking about, Deku Stick. It's actually a pretty smart Deku Stick, then. Oh, he believes a rumor that says long ago there were hot springs somewhere in the mountains near here. Bah, I don't believe such rubbish. So, yeah, basically, they won't... If you're wondering about your sword, sergeant, your sword... You know, wow. I, I didn't even know you could actually get hurt there. 
that probably I think this is the only shop that you could actually probably die in with the shop music in any of the Zelda games. That's so cool. <laughs> um, but basically what he's saying is until spring. And just like the southern swamp, um, there is a problem. We wanna go up there, we're gonna be going up there. But yes, there is a huge environment problem, just like the swamp swamp water was poisonous. This place is in the middle of winter. Somehow Link is not freezing, but this place is in the middle of winter, and we have to find a way to get it to spring. And as you probably guess, it has something to do with a temple and help. Um, what you want to do is go through this area, kill this guy, get a Deku stick, a heart, and oh, there's Tingle. Get out your bow so we can shoot down Tingle. And there will be these white wolfos right here. Oh, I should have tried to attack him. Okay, that kills him. Gives us a green ruby. Wow. Shoot Tingle down and have him go. And talk to him and be like, yeah, yeah, I know. I've met you 50 times already. And you'll be like, yeah, yeah, lucky, lucky. Give me the snowhead map. I'll be like, gibby. And we got the snowhead map. You'll be like, well, call again. Tingle, tingle, gloom. These are magic words that Dingo created himself. Don't steal them! Why would I want to steal words like that? I want to try something here quickly, because I know there's another white wolf also right here. Remember how I did it? I killed one. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is so cool. A bubble can kill them. Somehow, a magic, a little bubble can kill them. Um, this is Goron Village. This is a key area, the same place. There's a Deku scrub over there. We'll be talking to him probably later on. Um, talk to this guy and he'll be like, It's full. Bleeding the cake. <laughs> Hold this hard. Do you want to enter the Goron Shine? Yes. Then I'll open the door with a Goron. <laughs> I'm going to close it right away so it doesn't get cold inside. So hurry up and get in. Are you ready? Um, the entrance is below us. So what we're going to do, he'll be like, The door's already open. I'm going to close it right away. So hurry up. He'll close it if you, like, try to leave, so you'll have to talk to him again if you talk to this. It'll be like, go and try and please see the gatekeeper right above. And now you know, and if you were wondering why this place... As if this place couldn't get any worse. <laughs> That's cool if you hit the rock, he, like, duck. Um... This Goron Shrine, it's freezing in here apparently, and so my Link isn't bothered like it, like he's not bothered like I am when I shovel snow in shorts. But anyway, if we go here and talk to the person crying, he'll be like, ah, Daddy, Daddy, I'm cold, Daddy. And he will not stop. He'll be like, We're at our wits' end. The Elder went to Snow Ed and doesn't need to be coming back. Now his son is so on that he won't stop crying. It keeps getting colder outside. It's that we're so cold we could freeze. I'm just... Yeah, that baby just gets to me. <sighs> but yes, that's another problem we have to solve. So we're gonna have to help the baby find this elder. And there's something that just doesn't... We're missing about this place. We're gonna discover it in a couple minutes what it is. Talk to these guys will be like, I wish someone would do something. Oh, I can feel it pounding in the back of my head. You look like you're doing fine despite all this noise. I can feel it like it's echoing in my empty stomach. Wow. <laughs> the store is having trouble getting product getting product because of the cold. Things are kind of expensive now, so you shouldn't shop here. The store is having trouble getting product? Wow. Maybe it's I I don't know. I took English in last semester and I didn't seem to I don't know why it wouldn't be products, but anyway, if you talk to the Gorn, he'll be like, Well, this is a rare sight. Welcome. You must be tough to have made it through a cold dress in <laughs> just that outfit. Um, yeah, you can see these products are uh, very expensive. Um, if you come back during spring, or if you're just like me and you use the Termina field, you can just get everything you need in there. And actually, yeah, you can keep getting Deku sticks. Yeah, ignore the, We're getting out of here because that baby's just driving me nuts right now. <sighs> annoying. But yeah, that little annoying brave baby 
Um, it's part of the key to fixing this place. Just like, this is sort of like, probably, the whole thing about getting him to stay quiet is basically sort of the same thing you have to do, you had to do in Deep Palace with helping the monkey. Basically, it's the same thing. You're gonna be helping that baby, and you're gonna try, there's something that nobody seen, has told you. That the Elder has disappeared, going to Snowhead, which is, spoilers, where we have to go. And, but anyway, for now, we're gonna go over here and talk to this annoying jerk, and be like, you know what? We're not gonna talk to him. He'll just be like, ooh, you are a child of many strains. Well, perhaps you do have enough strength to fit him. I shall take you to the air now, flying toward that shrine across the way, so follow behind me. Do not be daunted by appearances, instead let your feelings get you in the true path shall go for you. Are you ready? Follow behind me. Um, yeah, so I'm supposed to follow you through a gap. Anyway, never mind. What you need to do is, you see these feathers? You need to jump to each of these feathers because... Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, I just got distracted by the... I've never noticed that before, that is so cool. Wow, all I can say is this is just such a... Brilliant sight. Oh my gosh, these feathers are disappearing. Oh boy. Gotta get across. Okay. Be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? Um, he'll tell you to enter this shrine. But I'm not gonna lie, that that wow. That was just so cool out there, that like background. Like, that's why I love this game so much. Is cause it's just so well done. There's an invisible enemy over there. I'm just gonna ignore him for now. And we're gonna open this big chest. And we're gonna get a very important item. We get it a lot earlier in this game than we did in the last one. And we get the um, lines of truth. It was a gaze through it to see the mysteries that are invisible to the naked eye. Yeah, whatever. Um, basically, you just equip it, you press C, and the truths are revealed. Like this one. How was I supposed to see him? There we go. Anyway. He's taking forever to die. <laughs> Give us five rubies. Put on the bunny hood. And we'll leave this dim little cavern. Unless... Nah, never mind. You need to use the lens of truth to go back. And this is where those feathers dropped, which were these platforms, which makes sense. And that explains how we got across this gap. Or abyss without dying. No, oh, well. Let's try it again. B. B. Link. Work with me. Alright. Talk to this thing and he'll be like, Can it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly can see me, then follow behind me. This guy is very important. And he is basically going to explain what is going on. Because no one else seems to be capable of doing that. Um, you don't have to follow around him directly. Um, if you talk to that Deku, just grab his link. He'll just be like, I can't help you. And the one, if you talk to him as Deku link, he'll just be like, um, I need you to give me something which we don't have and I'm not going to bother to do until later. He wants one of those land title deeds um, that I mentioned before. The one we got in Clock Town, he wants the one from the Southern Swamp. But um, we're not going to do that until we get right near the end of the game. And yeah, he does have a piece of heart to give us as well. I'm just going to ignore him. But yeah, there's a piece of heart right there, and the only way to get it is using this flower. But we need it. Okay, yeah, there he is. I was wondering where this guy went. And what you need to do is just approach him. So that way he'll go to the next area. You don't have to have your lens of truth on the entire time. You can just follow that shadow of his. But just like you need to get right near him here. And he'll fly. And then we're going to go with him. Really simple. Just ignore him. Yeah, we're just going to turn this off. Continue following. Okay, we need magic. I like how they do backflips. Um, yeah. There's another Tektite. This guy comes back. Mm. Just, I 
hate those guys. And it's... We really need a new sword. Which we're going to be getting, hopefully really soon. Alright, yeah, talk to him again. And now he'll be, like, right here. And he's going to take us over in this direction. And with the lens of truth, you probably just noticed in that quick little shot that there are now, like, steps or, yeah, like a cliff thing right here. What we need to do is, well, he can just fly up there lucky, but we need to get up there, so it's right, left, right up. Okay. I still have no idea how Link is not cool. I'm just thinking about that right now. I just, like, cannot understand how he is not freezing. I mean, people think I'm insane for shoveling snow in shorts. It's like, no, granted, I have, like, a coat on and everything, and a hat. You know, it's like my upper body stays, you know, warm. My lower body's just like, eh, don't really need it. Okay, was it? No, it was left. Yeah, we want to go left, and then it's right, left, right up, I think. But with this cliff, yeah, there's only one right way to go up it. Right, left, right. I don't know why everybody says I'm weird for shoveling snow and shorts. Like, I don't know, that's bad. It's not like I need a bunch of clothes on. But anyway, go and talk to him, move this way, and he'll just be like, huh? And I'll talk to this guy, he'll be like, this is the grave where Goron hero rests. I came here to put up the great hero's memorial, but the return route has been blocked by snow, and I can't get back to Goron village. Even worse, my brother has been frozen solid from the cold. The way things are looking, I'll be frozen too. Oh, it's times like this make me wish I had taken some of the hot spring water I had found when I was digging the hero's grave. But the hero hot spring is now covered by the gravestone. I can't move a gravestone that big by myself, but I guess this is what is meant by the Goron saying, there's no use in crying over snow boys. <laughs> well, he's in luck, because we're going to help him. What you want to do, this is the Goron graveyard. Talk to him and be like, so I once said, the one who could see me would be arriving soon. Seems that turned out to be true. I am Dormani the Third. The blood of proud Goron heroes runs in me. This feels strange for me to say, but when I was alive, I was a renowned warrior and veteran. Yes, when I was alive. The loss. I am now dead. I think I figured that out. I was fine until I marched off to Snowhead by myself, hoping I could drive off a demon. It had been wrecking havoc on Goron Village, then the blizzard of Snowhead blew me into the valley, and now here I am. How infuriating. As I am, I can only watch as Goron Village is slowly buried in ice. I may have died, but I cannot rest. So you can use magic. So you also told me that you would be able to use it. I beg you, bring me back to life with your magic. If it is beyond your power, then I beg you to do this for me. Said, heal my sorrows. Any way that you can do it will suffice. Please, heal my sorrows. Yeah, for a second there, I almost forgot I had to pause and think. But getting it will allow you to him say, what a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away into the song. And if there is one reason why I love this game better than any of the other Zeldas, it's this. The seat is just <laughs> so brilliantly done. I just have no other way to put it. It's just so well done. Just the look on his face, him seeing Link and him nodding right here, and him surrendering his body. Just so well done. And which will give us a new mask. I leave my undying feelings with you. The deeds I accomplish while living are covered in my grave. You should read it. We got a very powerful mask. This is the Deep Goron mask, not Deku. This mask is the spirit of a proud Goron hero. Wear the mask with C to inhabit the body of a Goron. Press C again to return to normal. For the Goron village, I have asked your assistance. So finally, someone tells us what's going on. Yes. As we found this mask for the first time. 
and we'll read his gravestone. Goron Hero Dormani, the third rest here in honor of great hero. This morning's come to Nadra Kahira. Um, we'll do the action one, which is important. Oh, chosen girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, biggest thing is if you press A and use the control stick and you go up, then they may curl up and roll wherever it is they may need to go. If going to possess magic power, roll swiftly enough spikes when we're ice so that they may mow down enemies. Water is disastrous for Goron Heroes, for they sink like stones and are rendered motionless in the deep. Beware. Um, the battle one is just simply press B, where you can do a punch, an uppercut, and a butt punch. Butt punch. <laughs> really cool. Um, what we want to do, it was the guy mentioned how, well, um, that his memorial was over this. You want to pull this out, which will allow this hot spring water to come out. <sighs> and, which you want to get out a bottle. And what you're going to want to do with your bottle is fill it with this. And we got hot spring water. Use it with C before it cools, because yes, this will cool, and considering where we are, it's going to cool really fast. Um, you, you know, you're not the great Dormani, are you? Then just whose grave was I making? Did you come back to life because it was so warm beneath your grave? <laughs> freeze this guy. And he will come back to life. Like, huh? What have I been doing? Oh, are you alright, brother? You were frozen. But the great Darmani saved you. The great Darmani? What's with you? Half asleep? Did you hear this guy? The great Darmani died long ago and he's lying in his Dor Hey! Darmani! I was shocked too, but somehow it seems the great Darmani isn't dead. Really? With this, a star of hope appears in Goran village. Great Dormani, please do something about the blizzard blowing in from Snowhead. Great Dormani, have you seen the Goran Elder yet? If you haven't, you should go see him soon. I'm sure he'll be very happy. What you need to do, what these guys are basically saying, is that as Dormani, Dormani went to Snowhead, got blown off, somehow died, ended up dying, and then um, ended up ended up dying, and as you can guess, it ruined the rest of Goron Village. And Goron, and with this blizzard going on, well, right now, I, I'm just rambling on, so... Alright, sum it up quickly. Darmani went to Snowhead, got blown off, died. Then, this blizzard continues to go. Gorons are frightened, because they're gonna die. They're hungry, they're starving, they have no food, and worst of all, they are, it's freezing cold, and they can't deal with it. That's pretty much it is. And the Goron Elder went to Snowhead and hasn't come back yet. And that's pretty much the story. So yeah, I rambled on right there because I had no idea. I felt like I was doing a poor job of explaining. And I felt like this video was pretty quick. Wow, it's already been 23 minutes. Wow. But I'm going to end the video here. So next time on Legends of the Majora's Mask, we are going to head for, um, we're going to go find the Goron Elder and hopefully get to Snowhead. Alright, see you guys.